and welcome in to the Fun Astrology Podcast for Monday, December 2nd. Thomas Miller back with you with a big day today. Today is a big day in the sky. Jupiter moves into Capricorn. When? Well, it's going to be at 12.48 p.m. Eastern Time. So we've been talking about this, waiting for it. It is a shift. And look, it is just part of the cycle of life. This happens. Planets move from one sign to another, and they move from their home sign to the next sign. And that's exactly what's going to take place. Why is this one so talked about in the astrological circles? Well, it's because Jupiter is, is like known as the big benefic planet. And it's moving from its home sign of Sagittarius into a sign that is ruled by Saturn. I mean, you couldn't have more polar opposites on the scale than Jupiter in Sagittarius and Saturn in Capricorn, where it is, by the way. When I was a kid, we would go over to my grandparents' house. Now, they were formal people. They were cut from the cloth of the late 1800s, early 1900s, and they were formal type people. And my parents would be, very, and they had a lot of antiques in their home. My parents would be very careful to tell us those magic words that kids do not want to hear. You are to be seen and not heard. Now tell that to a Gemini rising, Scorpio, kid. <laughs> it didn't set so well. But we would go over there and we would just sit in almost sheer, this is when we were itty bitty, you know. Um, I mean, but we would. We would sit there in almost sheer silent terror that we might break something. Or, you know, the just it was a very stale, uh, stoic kind of presence that kids don't do well in. But we obeyed our parents, and we went, and, uh, and it was just stuffy. I mean, it was, you know, it was great seeing our grandparents, but it never was fun. That's Jupiter in Capricorn. It is minding itself in what is, to it, a stuffy environment. But look, on the flip side, when you've had a big party for a year... You need to rest. You need some downtime. You need some structure time. When you've been un see, this is the great thing about astrology. It moves from unstructured, playful, let's go party, let's be big, let's be bold, to let's bring it down. Let's get our roots back in the ground. Let's get regrounded and recentered. And this is the time to focus on that. Especially, especially, especially with Saturn Pluto. <laughs> so this is the time now that Jupiter has moved in there to really pull out the stops on evaluating anything in your life that needs to be eliminated, that's not serving you, that isn't moving you forward in your karmic path. Go through your sock drawer and get rid of your old socks. That's what this is about. Clean it out. Literally, you could clean out your physical environment. And literally, you could clean out your spiritual environment as well. What doesn't serve you? What isn't working? What holds you back? you have any habits that just keep coming up over and over? Addictions? Let it go. The universe is on your side with that now. Jupiter in Sagittarius might have let you get away with it. Jupiter in Capricorn will call you on it. Oh, you know the last time that Jupiter was in Capricorn? 2008. You remember what happened? in the United States and Europe in 2008, and really China, I mean, it affected the whole world. We had the almost worst recession since the Great Depression. Now, I, again, I don't forecast stuff because Jupiter has crossed through Capricorn many times since the 1930s. It goes through there every 12 years. But just saying, the last time that it visited there, we had a shakeup, and that's what Jupiter will do. It will say, this isn't working, and it shook it up. And, of course, now you have Saturn-Pluto in there as well. Now, you could talk about Jupiter in Capricorn for hours. I mean, this is a big, big topic. But one of the other things that I think is worth noting at this point, and we'll leave it with this. This is enough mental digestion for, the, for this particular phase in the journey. We'll have a lot more opportunities to unpack this. But one of the other things that I think you have to think about is in Sagittarius, Jupiter was... Throw your manifestations up there. Throw your desires up there. And Jupiter, and especially when Venus came in there, will help you kind of skate through. Will give you a bogey. 
And it seemed like you could say, well, boy, I, you know, good luck came from nowhere. And here I like to, I like what Steve Forrest says about Jupiter, that it's not about the luck side. It's about where are you minimizing yourself? Where does the universe want to support you and want you to grow and want you to excel? But your own limiting beliefs are holding you back. That's where Jupiter can come to play. But in Capricorn, the characteristic of that is, here's how you play it. The harder I work, the luckier I get. <laughs> Have you heard that line before? Well, that's what's at play now. Work hard, diligence, face to the task, and then Jupiter will be there to support those efforts. It's a great way to look at it. Boy, have things shifted in the sky. We are headed into a new dimension as the Capricorn stack continues. The sun will move in next. Mercury joins. And then we've got the big Saturn-Pluto conjunction in January. So we've got a lot going on, and we will be covering it all right here on the Fun Astrology Podcast. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great Monday. We will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow.